Hey guys, so I started flying my H107D uh, pretty aggressively in the street, outdoors, and uh, I like to go fast. And I noticed that the the camera <clears throat> is really not pointing in the right right angle. So when you tilt the quad forward, the camera's pointing down at the ground. So you need a little angle back. All the uh, FPV racers and people like Sharpu and all that have all their cameras angled. I'm sure most of you are aware of that. So took it apart trying to figure out what to do here. And I believe I'm just going to cut this front here. Try to leave the... Let's see, let's bring this in here. Sorry about that. These mounting holes here where the camera sits, I'm going to try and leave those intact. And then I'm going to cut this at an angle like this here. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm just going to angle the camera back. We'll cut the, uh, the top off here. One thing I noticed uh, when using a fisheye, so I could fit my fisheye on there straight. I cut the this part here instead of uh, having my fisheye aimed down like that or down like that. My fisheye was straight, and that helped a little. But we want this fisheye aimed up. The only way we can do that is by removing material here, and then we're going to hot glue everything together. And doing that, though, the and putting the fisheye on. The two blue LEDs in here shine into the back of the fisheye and give a, a blue ring of light, which is actually advantageous in one way that <clears throat> since I'm using goggles and can't see the telemetry, um, when those lights start flashing, I can actually see it in the lens. And that tells me my battery's going low and I can make it around and land. Otherwise, I just have to go by uh, feel. So. That's what we're going to try and do. I'm going to try and cut this right now. I'm using a, a diamond blade on a Dremel. And I'm just going to wing it by eye here. Bye bye. Cut into the arm a little bit there. No one said it's going to be easy. Actually, I think if you just hold this quad at the angle like this, that you want to cut it, and then put your blade perpendic perpendicular to the work surface, and then go right in the middle, you're going to wind up with the angle you want. That's the bottom. Cut. Woohoo! I'm going to put this in here. So I can get an approximate measurement for the top. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. We don't want to do is cut the flight controller. And there it is. I just chopped a giant hole in the front of my my quad. <laughs> Now what we're going to do, we're going to make a plate to cover this hole with the hole for the camera back in place. 
Okay, so uh, real quick, want to show you what I'm up to here. Got the board snapped back into place there, and I ran my antenna through this hole in the back because <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mount for this so I can put it up for a better range. I don't like the idea of going down. <clears throat> and uh, now your battery tray is gonna go back in, and that's gonna get screwed in. But there we go, we have a problem. The battery tray actually holds the camera. So, we're going to have to cut the battery tray also, so that the camera's angled back. And this is going to make it harder to, to insert the batteries all the way in. But uh, with the weight of the fisheye on the front, you actually want your batteries out a little bit to balance it out. So, I'm going to try and I'll show you what a marker here. Since this is where the camera module sits right in there, instead of cutting this all out and ruining it, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut right, right here like this, shaking hands, and cut here like this, and maybe might have to make a few other notches or something, and then just try to bend this, this thing back. Let's see how that works. Goggles. Always wear your safety glasses. It's not an exact science. Okay. Get rid of our flashing. So, oh, this is curved. This is curved. So, I don't know if it's going to bend back, but yeah, look, it bends back. That's it. I could probably put a dab of hot glue there and there. This is how I create on the fly. So now, all right, we got we got a little bit of an angle going there. That's actually working out pretty well. So we're gonna glue all that up in place, and I would say that's about. Oh, let's see. If I was to guess, I would say it's a roughly a 20, 30 degree angle. So we don't probably need to go that much. We can make it like 20 or 15 for starters and then see how it goes. But now the camera is kind of protected there. See that? And it's just a matter of gluing it all in place and screwing in that. And then I'm going to make a plate on the front to cover the whole thing. Because you can see that's all open now. So I'm going to make a plate out of styrene, or I may just 3D print something there to cover everything and then hold. The fisheye will go on top of that. And that's the way it's going to be. And it's pretty close to the prop, so that should be interesting. Sorry about all the out of focus. It's hard to hold this and watch the camera at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> See the hot glue, little bead of hot glue I put there. And there, or use your favorite glue of choice. I think hot glue is good. 
don't be excessive. Hot glue weighs a lot. Alright. I don't know why the focus is not on. Here we go. Now we have quite a bit of an angle there. Hopefully you can see that. I have my antenna outside now, which I am going to probably swing around here and mount straight up and down like this. This is an adapter for bigger cells, in case you were wondering. And everything is back together pretty good. So now we're just going to make a plate to cover the front and get my fish eye on there like so. You probably could just hot glue everything, but I'm going to try and make it a little neater. And I'm going to also uh, trim this up a little. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> See what I did here? Kind of, I ground a little bit into the side there. I think you want to be careful because that's the uh, flight controller right behind there. And I put a dab of hot glue, stuck the antenna on there, and put a little hot glue on the side. And that looks pretty strong. I suppose it's going to get knocked off. But better it get knocked off than it breaks, so that's fine with me. And this wire could probably get a little dab of hot glue to hold it there. And I also cleaned up the front. I'm going to show you how I make a template right now for the front. For my styrene. So we're going to cut a little piece of paper. Put a little hole in it for the camera. Notice my precise hole making skills. <laughs> this show would be so much better with two people now. Alright, got my little camera in there sticking out. And we're going to take a pencil and do the trace method. This should give me some kind of a template. I can already kind of see it. Right there. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that out. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it pretty well. Okay, here we have a piece of styrene <clears throat> I glued on the front. And uh, now I'm going to trim it out and finish gluing it. And then mount my fish eye to that. I believe. Okay, now it's trimmed out. Include. See, it's not uh, perfect. Let me get all the dust out of there before I glue this. I also took the magnet off the fisheye and the steel <clears throat> as that's uh, just extra weight. I'm going to watch the weight on this thing. Okay. And there you have it. The angled racing version. of the H107D. I like to use the hot glue because I can just take it off when I screw up. And uh, next up will be a flight test video to show you the perspective. <laughs>